How to create animated scrolling logos for your Squarespace. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you step by step how to create the animation for scrolling logos. So basically, you know, when you see um, websites that have a list of logos and there's too much to show just in one big image gallery. So instead they have it scroll from left to right. Uh, and this is basically what we will be doing today. I will show you how to do it exactly. Uh, you will need to use a code, but don't worry, I'm just going to leave that in the description below. Uh, I got that code from inside uh, the square, so thanks to them. But we will be using that code today to recreate or actually create the scrolling logos or images for your Squarespace. So the first step to get started is we will need a um, Chrome extension, which is just going to help us uh, get the ideas for the blocks in Squarespace. This is going to allow us to, uh, if we are going to be using multiple image galleries, we can allow it to only, uh, basically allow the code to use only one image gallery and the other one can just stay static. This is if we want to only move one of them. I will show you exactly what I mean. So first, just go ahead and open up your Google Chrome store. And go ahead and search for um, Squarespace ID Finder. Once you look up Squarespace ID Finder, you should find that this one right here by uh, this company right here. So just um, add Squarespace ID Finder. Sorry, you just couldn't read their name to be honest. Uh, so just add to Chrome and add extension. Uh, this is going to allow us to get to the IDs for each block that we have in our Squarespace store. Now I'm just going to also pin it. This way it's just going to be available for us uh, quickly. So now we just need to go ahead and open up our Squarespace account and go ahead to the dashboard. And we will need to navigate to our site. Obviously I will just be using this site for the sake of this uh, video and example. So basically, you will need to navigate to the page that you want to add the scrolling logos or images to. So I'm just going to add it to the home page. Uh, and basically, here you have the home page. We don't really have anything yet, uh, but we will need to go ahead and click on the top left and click on edit. And then from here, we will need to go ahead uh, and find where we want to actually add the scrolling logos. Uh, it's going to be a section, so just make sure you find a proper place for it. I'm just I'm just going to use it over here between these two. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on Add Section. Now in here you should find uh, plenty of things that you can obviously add, but where, what we are looking for is this Images uh, section here. So just click on Images, and there should be uh, multiple options for you to choose from. You can see if you scroll down, there are a lot to choose from. I prefer to choose this first one on the top right. And regardless, you need to make sure that they have this eye icon. If not, then I don't think they're going to work. So just make sure you select one with this. Uh, I'll be selecting this one. I think it's actually going to be the best proper one for this tutorial. So I'm just going to uh, click on it and add it to uh, my site. Now we can just go ahead and click on save. So basically, now we can just uh, go ahead and replace these images with the either our own images that we want to add or the logos that you want to add for them to be animated and be scrolling. So we can just click on the section and click on the top option here, which is Edit Gallery. We will just click on that. And here you can see all the images that are available. Now, those images are just... Um, placeholders by Squarespace. So I'm, not, I'm just going to use them for the sake of this example. But think of it as you can add any image that you want and you can remove the uh, ones that you don't like. So you just click on this plus icon, click on upload images, and you'll be able to upload your own images. Now, once you upload your own images, you can also rearrange them the way you like. So for example, let's just uh, make this hut thingy the last image. Um, I'm just going to keep it as this so you can rearrange them to the way that you like. Once you're happy with the results, click on close. Now we will need to go ahead and click on edit section. 
this is very important uh, and it includes one specific option that is very very important which is going to be once we click on edit section we go to the gallery option and the gallery type we need to make sure that the grid is simple again i repeat this is very important the grid should be simple now here for the width and stuff i'll just keep it as it is and here the thing that i really want to um do here which is the columns section i just want to increase the columns to the max which is six columns this way you know they are going to be side by side instead of you know ones at top ones at, at the bottom and so on now for the aspect ratio you can also go ahead and play around with those depending on the size of the images that you are using so feel free to just go ahead and select the one that is going to work properly for your images uh, usually you would want to change this if the image doesn't look right if it's cropped out and so on now there are going to be other things here but on the i don't think we can um do anything maybe the spacing we can actually go ahead and decrease the spacing between them or actually increase the spacing between them i would rather uh, increase the spacing between them okay now one more thing uh, is we can go to colors so for example if you're using white logos you can go ahead and find a black background now this is step one done we are pretty much done in this step you just need to click on save on the top left and go ahead and click on exit and now here is going to be the fun part where we actually add the code to allow this to be animated as you can see it's for the time being just a staying still so we don't really want that uh, so let's go ahead and add the code. I'm just going to leave it in the description again, like I said in the beginning of the video. Let me just go ahead and get it real quick. It's this one right here. I'm just going to all copy and exit out of here. Okay, great. So what we need to do is just click on pages on the left side, and then we will need to find website tools. Now, keep in mind, Squarespace does kind of play around a lot with their uh, interface. So if this location is different for you in the future just find the custom css that's all i'm going to tell you so we just need to locate custom css for the time being it is in pages uh, website tools custom css and now from here what we'll need to do is just click on the first line and paste the code so once we paste the code you can see already that it is animated and now i know that you may be concerned because of the size of it but the thing is about this code again thanks to inside the square uh, is that we can actually go ahead and edit a few things so what we can edit i'm just going to list them real quick is the uh this one right here the time so the time uh, it takes to actually finish the slideshow so right now it's 30 seconds to finish the entire slideshow. We can actually make it faster by decreasing the time. We can make it 20 and yet now you can see it is quite faster. One more thing is uh, we can actually edit the minimum, minimum width. We can just make it um, larger or smaller. So we can just go ahead and um, make it 20. And we if it loads in there you go now we have it a little bit smaller however if you are going to adjust the minimum width you will also need to adjust this last percentage here if you are going to be decreasing the minimum width you will need to decrease this percentage over here so if it's uh or actually increase because it's in minus so if it's minus two to five to begin with and you want to decrease the minimum width you can see what happens here there's a very very large gap which we don't really want. So what we would want to do to make this work is play around with this number. So I'm just going to make it 50. I believe that it was working properly for 20. So minus 20, minus 50 and um, the minimum width as 20, I believe is going to work and there's no, uh, there shouldn't be any gap on the right side. We can make this faster so we can actually go ahead and see. Um, let's make this 10 seconds. It should end without showing any gaps, if I'm not mistaken. Now, obviously, you would want to play around with those. So you can play around with the minimum width. But if you are going to change this, you will also need to change uh, this percentage at the bottom as well, just to make it work. 
And I believe, yeah, there's no more gap in here. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. Now, why would why did we actually install this um, extension? Uh, this is I'm going to show you the reason why. First, we can actually go ahead and click on edit. We can, for example, actually duplicate this section. So now we have both items with the same code. So both of them are moving exactly how we want it to be. Now, what if you want to move the bottom one and not to the top one, for example? This is why we installed the extension. So let's say you want to move the bottom one. What you would want to do is click on the extension that we have just installed. And it's going to show us the uh, ID for each block or section. So we want to copy the one that we want to actually move. Uh, so I said I want to move the bottom one and not the top one. I'm just going to go ahead and click on the bottom one, this ID, and it should say that it is copied. Once it says this, we can actually go ahead and back exit out. And we can also disable this. We don't really need it anymore. We all need to go back to custom CSS. And basically, after we copied the ID for the second one, or the one that we want to move, you will need to go uh, right before the dot gallery grid at the fourth line and paste it in and then hit enter. And same goes at the bottom, which is going to be a uh, line nine right before the dot gallery uh, grid, paste it in again and hit enter. And now we should have the bottom one moving and the top one a static. Now, if you want it to be the top one, you would want to copy the ID for this one and do the same thing. If you want both, then just remove this entire section. We don't really need it. Um, so this is basically it. So this is how to add your scrolling uh, logos or images animations to your Squarespace using this code. I'll leave the code in the description. It's very easy to use. So go crazy and create your own uh, animated uh, logos and I hope you liked this video and found it to be helpful. And this is all I have for you today. So thanks for watching.